Alviera is a 1,800 hectare development of Ayala land in partnership with Leone land in Central Luzon. Why are we going to Central Luzon? As the country grows, there is a need to create more centers. And as we know, there is a conscious effort of government to push towards Central Luzon as evidenced by the 1.6 trillion peso investment in infrastructure. These investments are meant to improve roads, improve rail, and improve international terminals, whether it be airport or seaport. These are spread across roads, SETEX, TPLEX, as well as the Central Luzon Link Expressway, or the CLEX. You also to expect investments in railroad, rail infra from Manila to Clark and shortly from Clark to Subic. With these roads and infrastructure, Central Luzon will be accessible to more people from other regions, from Metro Manila, and even from overseas with the Clark International Airport. With the expansion of the Clark International Airport, it can accommodate 12 million incoming passengers. Meanwhile, all cargoes will be handled by Subic International Freeport through the proposed Subic Clark Railway. Beyond the strategic location, Central Luzon is also blessed with the proper demographics. In 2020, Central Luzon received the highest investment among all regions in the Philippines, with over 580 billion allotted out of the 1.6 trillion investment. Central Luzon is the third highest contributor in terms of gross domestic product. We see this because Central Luzon has the second highest number of college degree graduates after NCR. Beyond the strategic location and the demographics, the numbers and the statistics, we are blessed with the natural beauty of a land. And as developers, we are here simply to enhance, never to overpower God's great gift. Alviera is all about urban living in nature, and that's our value proposition. As we try to deliver urban living in nature, we have divided Alviera into four distinct districts. The first one is the east. It will be predominantly anchored by the industrial park, with a school, Holy Angel, and a large community base. The east district is special because it has access from SETEX as well as the local road of the Angeles Porak de Lupian. Of course, there would also be centers of commerce at the east district. Alvera East Commercial is a 7-hectare development envisioned to be the primary anchor within the East District. This is given its proximity to Holy Angel University, to the industrial parks, and to the bedroom communities of Avida and Alveo. With available lot cuts ranging from 2,000 to 3,000 square meters, it is one of the few commercial offerings in the area where investors can actually own the property. Since we launched the project, we are happy to note that land values have already appreciated by 58%. As we move towards the central, you would expect the central business districts to be here. Currently, we have the Alvera Country Club and shortly the La Salle Botanical Garden within this district. You would expect multinationals, large corporations to have their headquarters here in the future. And as we move to the west, we start to commune with nature a little bit more. Beyond the normal uses of residential, commercial, institutional, and industrial, Alviera will be also introducing leisure use. Leisure use would be predominantly done in the West District. You'd expect hotels, resorts, and other outdoor activities to happen here. To tie everything together, we have a fourth district. We call this the Green Belt. The Green Belt runs from the mountains of the West down to the plains of the east. This will be a belt that unifies and binds all the distinct districts together. For our residential components, we already have the three residential brands of Ayala Land with us, Avida, Alveo, and Ayala Land Premier. In a span of six years, we already sold 3,000 residential units in total. More than half of our buyers are potential end users and are from Pampanga and north of Metro Manila. We are expecting more activity from our other locators within the next couple of years. We have sold over 40 units in industrial lots. Our present locators include Badan Building Materials Corp, 
who's into the business of engineered stones, and Mond Nisin, who's into food manufacturing. For leisure, we have our sandbox complex, which is our original adventure theme park. And in 2019, we opened one of our banner projects, the Alviera Country Club. The club sits on a 5.6 hectare property and offers different recreational facilities such as swimming pools, banquet halls, and a number of dining outlets. The Alviera Country Club is 600 members strong and more than half are actual residents, working professionals, and business owners in central Luzon. We have very high hopes for Alviera as we keep our commitments to our present locators and continue to ramp up our infrastructure developments within the estate. We recognize that there will be changes in the future following what we're experiencing now. And so we are equally preparing for that. First of all, we are ensuring that the whole of Alviera will be fiber optic connected, such that we'll be able to do digital, contactless, and cashless transactions. We also recognize that people will be more health and safety conscious. And part of that will be the provision of sufficient open space for everybody to enjoy. As we gear up the uh, fiber optic facilities in Alvera, this will be sufficient for people to work from home, for kids to be able to go to school while staying in their residential developments. Fiber optic connections will also help our industrial park be competitive. We are very hopeful of Alvera. It holds a lot of promise. And as developments start to quicken, residents move in, schools beat out, and the industrial activities happen, we expect a lot more community in Alvera in the years to come. Thank you, and I hope to see you in Alvera.